my sister, Osma. I had a dream. A gray tree rose from the ground. From its roots sprang four mountain ranges, then four rivers. And around those rivers, beautiful, shimmering cities arose. The great tree's leaves turned to gleaming swords. Suddenly a mighty wind blew, and the swords all pointed to one city. Constantinople. final illness, the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, drew aside the curtain and said, O oh Allah, I have conveyed the message three times. There is nothing left of the features of prophethood except a good dream that a person sees or is seen by others for him. When analyzing this hadith in depth, we can understand that dreams play an important part in the religion of Islam. In fact, so crucial were dreams that Sumra ibn Jandub said, Whenever the Prophet finished the dawn prayer, he would look at us and ask, Who of you had a dream last night? So if anyone had a dream, he would describe it, and the Prophet would discuss the dream. Furthermore, Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him, narrates the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, If any one of you sees a dream that he likes, this is from Allah, so let him praise Allah for it and talk about it to others. If he sees other than that, a dream that he dislikes, this is from Shaitan, so let him seek refuge with Allah from its evil and not mention it to anyone, for it will not harm him. Here we see the importance of praising Allah for a good dream and the sunnah of sharing one's good dream. Dreams from Allah have a meaning behind them and may require interpretation. These dreams can be glad tidings for the believers, especially at times of trials and tribulations. These dreams are a source of comfort for the believers in order to keep them firm in their deen. They could also be a warning against an evil or a window to some events that will happen in the future. However, new Islamic laws and legislations cannot be derived from such dreams as our deen is complete and was perfected before the death of the Prophet. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, When the end times draw near, the dream of the believer can hardly be false. And that will be because the prophethood and its effects will be so far away in time, so the believers will be given some compensation in the form of dreams, which will bring them good news or will help them to be patient and steadfast in their faith. And now that I have your attention, O Ummah, I present the message of Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the last and final messenger of Allah 
My name is Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. I am a simple Sunni man from Pakistan in my early 40s. And for the last 28 years of my life, I have been seeing dreams in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have directly spoken to me. I was about 12 years old when I saw my first divine dream with both Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the years that followed, I had many such dreams and I would mainly keep these dreams to myself. On April 2014th, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told me, Qasim, I want you to tell the whole world about your dreams and I want everyone to know who you are. And with that command, I began sharing my dreams with my family members, friends, and neighbors. I also shared my dreams with some government officials and politicians through email. However, it seemed that no one was believing in me and my dreams, and they all ignored me. I felt like I was on a fool's errand, so soon after, I stopped sharing my dreams. A few months later, on December 2014th, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam appeared twice in my dreams and said, Qasim, you have to save Islam in Pakistan by sharing your dreams. At the time, I felt as if I had done enough, that I've shared my dreams with many people who ended up not believing in me. What more could I do? I was confused. Every time I lose hope, I would be given glad tidings in my dreams and be told, Qasim, do not despair the mercy of Allah. Allah does not waste the rewards of those who are patient and Allah is the best disposer of affairs. This refreshes my iman and keeps me firm on accomplishing the task Prophet Muhammad has appointed me with. I do not see Allah. I just feel His presence in my dreams. I feel that Allah is on Arsh al -Azim, His magnificent supreme throne, which extends beyond the heavens and the earth, and His voice is coming down, descending from beyond the sky. Sometimes I see a very magnificent nur, emanating with a radiance I cannot describe, and His voice resonates from within it. I am not saying that this nur is Allah, but rather it is a magnificent version of nur that Allah created. Allah is beyond everything to be classified as a nur, and He is the creator of Nur. The voice of Allah is unbelievable. It is filled with mercy and purity that is beyond words. Allah's voice in my dreams is highly exalted and has no weakness of running out of breath while talking. The height of our Prophet wasallam is above 5 feet 11 inches. He has a well-structured body and covers his head with a white cloth. He talks softly and politely and he shows the deepest affection. Prophet Muhammad has the most unexplainable love for his ummah and makes dua for his ummah constantly. In my dreams, I have seen that the prophetic methodology will be established in Pakistan and then the entire Muslim world. I have also seen many dreams on how Islam and the Muslim ummah will rise up again to the whole world. The Muslim world will be a utopia again, the exact embodiment of the social structure as it was during the time of Prophet Muhammad Our new state will be filled with peace, mercy, and blessings, and prosperity. A civilization of justice honored with Islam, where every ummati of Muhammad will enjoy equal rights, regardless of skin color, and no prejudice will remain in the land. By the will of Allah, we will destroy all forms of shirk, idol worship, abolish interest, unite all the deviant factions to the truth, and no longer deal with barbaric politics. Rather, we will implement the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad and unify under one banner. If my dreams are related to the next world war, geopolitical issues, and upcoming events that will not only shape the future of the Muslim world, but the entire world as well. I've also had dreams on the jaw and Yajuj wa Majuj. Many of my dreams are very specific and pertain to current worldly events. My aim inshallah is to spread awareness about geopolitical incidents that will take place and the effects it will have on not only Pakistan, but the entire world as shown to me in my dreams. I want people to take heed of these dreams. To believe or not, it's your choice.
As for lying about these dreams, then come forth and let us both send curses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the liar. And whoever uses the name of Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to mislead the people, then he should remain in hellfire forever. And indeed, the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is upon the liars, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O Ummah, O Muslims of the Americas, Europe, Russia, the Middle East, Africa, the Indo-Pak subcontinent, Australia, and all of Asia, my message is for you to take heed of these dreams as a form of glad tidings, to keep yourself updated as to what's going on around you, and to know that Allah's help is coming very soon. And we will witness our first victory in Ghaswatul Hind. And soon by Allah's permission, Baytul Maqdis, and all of the Muslim lands, and this ordeal is not far. I am just a simple man. I don't have the support of any organization or powerful figures. I rely only on Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth. I will continue to preach my dreams and spread my message. Very soon, by the mercy of Allah, the whole world will be a witness to the truth behind these dreams. For now, I say to you, wait. We too are waiting. We too are waiting. We too are waiting.